I have a long history with my fingernails. A long history. You see, I wasn't always the girl that loved her nails. In fact, I, I actually hated them. Growing up, everyone had these smooth fingernails, but men have lines in them. And embarrassingly to say, I used to feel for some type of way that I was the other one out. I was too different. My nails are so different. Something must be wrong with my nails. So I started to take the file and file them down to file off these, these lines that are on my nails. You see my nails have lines. They're not smooth. So yeah, I really used to spend time filing my nails down to see if I could get them smooth. Unfortunately, every time the filing wore, wore off, my nails continued to have lines, so I gave up. There was no fight in nature. <laughs> I realized there was no fighting who I was, what I was made of. I had many other insecurities too, cancer. I have what we call not knees. I used to think they were the worst up until very recently. Um, I, I, I actually thought, I was going to say thoughted. I thought real hard how to, I, I promised that when I got rich, I was going to pay for surgery to get my knees straight, straight hand. Yeah, that's, that's my insecurity. Well, it was. And this is a very recent one, I'm telling you. Like, even walking down the street in tight jeans, I'm like, oh my goodness, my knees are catching fire. And to be honest, I love my legs. You know what I mean? The not knee thing is really just what other people think. But the nails, it's more about my own self-love. Well, both of them are. But I love, I always secretly loved my the shape of my, my legs, even my knees. I love the shape of my legs. Like when I stand and look in the mirror, the space that is left between um, from my knees down, it looks like a vase. I love it. It looks like a vase. Just the space. Because I like space. You know, I really like metaphysics. I'm interested in learning more. Cause we, because we see the things that fill up our space, but we don't often pay attention to the space that surrounds itself, that surrounds us. You know, I feel like it is the space. The space that is that something about this space, you know, that is even more important or relevant than the object in the space. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes, I, like, I look at my space, oh gosh, just to see the shape of who I am. For example, everything in this room or wherever you are, suppose you were to make to just bring out the space between those. You know, like when you cut out the space between letters, suppose you can bring out the space between every object in your room. What would that space, what, is the, what would the shape of that space be like? You know what I mean? Like, like when I say I stand in the mirror sometimes and I look down at my legs and it looks like a the, the space between my legs, I'm just sharing this with you for real, like no one else knows this. The space between my, it's not something I go around talking about, but the space between my legs looks like a beautiful vase that I would love to design. Um, a tall vase, beautifully shaped. That's the space between my legs. My, between, just my knees going down. So I don't want to get y'all thinking like between. Anywho, um, <clears throat> so what's your space? Like how beautiful are you? What's the art that surrounds you? Something like that. It's about, it's just so we need to think more. Me. I used to dive really, really, really deep. I guess that's why Hangman is hanging around. But I used to spend a lot of time alone. A lot of time alone. They were the best and maybe the worst times. But the best. 
And in those times, um, I learned a lot. I meditated a lot. Started, I tried new things. I found myself. I found my soul, my spirit, my people, like my family. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, you're walking around in this world feeling like something is, is missing. Like, where do I belong? And then one day you find your tribe. And you realize they're just like you. <laughs> it's not like you're going to become best buddies. You just know that your tribe is out there. People of your soul, your soulmates. And it's a beautiful feeling. Okay. Let's get some soulmate messages. So, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot from the island. Okay. Much love to you. I hope you're doing well wherever you are today. Um, whenever this message finds you, I hope it finds you well. I hope it finds you feeling empowered. Despite the adversaries that may surround you. I hope you're learning how strong you actually are. I hope you're learning about space, how to separate yourself from your thoughts. The other day I was going through a lot psychically. That's why the hangman is hanging around with the five of swords but i was dealing with a lot the other day you know my energy it's a lot of thoughts it's, it's like magnetism and i heard poetry it's <laughs> poetry it's like a familiar sound a rhyme a rhythm a flow it was the frequency it's like a trance a spell uh -huh. It spoke to the genes in me, my roots. It was trying to keep what was embedded in me alive and awake the fears, you know what I mean? It was feeding hard, man. The machine was pulling. I even was spending a lot of time on social media watching stuff. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com. But I know love is here. I know changes are coming. I know sometimes we go through the, the dark to become lighter. You know, sometimes you think it's too much for you to bear, but you have a mission here. You're not, you're not weak. You're not weak. You know, it, it, it's tough, but you're not a weakling. The feelings that are weak are mental. It's the thoughts. It's what you've been learning. Programs. It's what you've been focused upon. The energy is embedded in you. So sometimes you have to dive deep to shine light in certain places of your life. But don't just give up to the thoughts when you have the upper hand. You know? You know what I mean? And ask for help. I am always here. I'm always here. Like, whenever, email me whenever. I may not be very social, let me tell you. I'm not a very talkative person. I've always been... The one that sits over there somewhere quiet. And I've never wanted to volunteer for anything ever. People always want to select me. Even though I'm so shy and closed off. It's like 
people just want me to be upfront, and I, I, I didn't speak up a lot. So sometimes when I wanted to say no, I still went ahead and do things that people wanted me to do, like at school. That's what I'm talking about mostly, like in school performing. But um, I just want you to know that. It's not going to always be the best. Life is going to take you to where it's taking you. What was I saying earlier? I've, I've, I've always come in being very talkative, but I'm here because I'm here, you know. I wish I could love you. This is what the card says. Overflow of love, love connection. Yes, I love you. Express love. A lot of love, Ace of Hearts. I'm here because, especially because I have found love in me from a place, you know, deep. I have, I've had to go there. I've been there to the depths. I've been down there, man. And I was, I felt I was alone, but then I had to find myself and then realize I wasn't, I wasn't really alone. It's a heart. This is true love. I was never alone. I felt alone. I felt separated from what was what divine. But good feelings started to come through to me, even in these days of loneliness. And these were the best times. Good feelings. Because I went down there. And I shone light there. Means I, 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 for, I forgave myself. I had to. It's almost like myself would not let me up until I forgave myself. I was like, I had to forgive myself. Have to forgive others. I ask for forgiveness. I have to let it go. I, 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 I went down there and I sunk into this place where I got a bird's eye view and I forgave a lot of pain that I held. Oh, it held me. And it was renewing, you know, clear communication, the eight of pentacles work i did work on myself internally yeah i did i did I, I can remember starting to laugh just i can remember loving just loving me oh yes yes i do still love me i'm just telling you about the, the transformation that took place it was like a zing with my soul you know you know what happened to? I started, yeah, getting closer to some parts of me that I lost even as a child. You know, the things I loved doing because life, life came by as I grew. I had to learn to trust myself, listen to myself. So. Being alone, listen to yourself. So it's like a zing with my soul, I felt. It was good. I started to eat, but I couldn't wait to get home from work just to cook food that was delicious just to spend time with myself. So these are just the messages going into your week. It's Sunday. I want you to expect good things. dream big to feel good okay my darling cancer and i'm leaving these messages here for you i do hope you found some that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey if you did leave a thumbs up on the video as a compliment share the messages with those you love hit share and share to your groups and if you have not hit subscribe yet please do so much love and appreciation thankful for all of your support and I will see you in the next one. Remember that you're all and all is within you. Much love.